Hey guys, it's me, it's me, Ventendo Man here, welcome you back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold in the last episode, episode. We are in Viridian City, and look who's back. The gym leader. It's not Giovanni, it's Blue. Yeah, the new gym leader in town. So we are going to fight this guy. So let's just check our team here. Alright, got the Nephemel Tice, but I'm going to actually do some item switching here. As Tian is at level 53, I'm going to give him the the thing, <laughs> the experience share. Yes, I know he's already holding it from Maltar, she doesn't need it. And then I think that's going to really be it for items. So how about we just take this guy out? Let's do this. Yo, finally got here, huh? Yep. I was in the mood at Cinnabar, but I'm ready to battle you now. Or, yeah, something like that. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Yeah, yeah, that was difficult, but I mean, a lot of them are true. Ha, <laughs> Johto's gyms would be pretty pathetic then. Oh no. Hey, don't worry about it. I don't know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto boy? Oh, uh, oh, Johto boy? Okay, bring it on, Blue. And for the last time we hear this awesome music, let's do this. The final gym battle against Blue. Former rival of Red and well, Pokemon Red and stuff. So he's gonna start out with Pidgeot. Yep, it's gonna be kind of like his championship team here, Pidgeot level 56. So I think we start out pretty good here. See what we can do with a little Ice Punch. Let's go TN. See how strong you've gotten. You little... so ooh, not bad, not bad. Oh dear, he is, he's going to be a lot stronger than any of my teammates. So ooh. I think we can take this guy on. Look at Tien. Alright, I think two more should do it. One more should do it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Not much. Look at Tien. I love this guy. And there goes his first Pokemon Pidgeot. Alright, Tien gained some great experience there. Okay, well, what you got next, Blue? What you got next? Ooh, Alakazam. Oh. This one's gonna be tough, but I think Tien can take it. We got Alakazam, the Psychic Pokemon, level 54. Let's try for another Ice Punch to see what- oh no. This thing's fast, but can Tien survive it? Can he do it? Not cool. Ooh, a critical hit nonetheless. You did well, Tien, you did well, but we're gonna send out Gohan next. Our own Pidgeot. So a fly, actually. Physical attacks, as you know, are pretty good against psychics, and never mind, that destroys the defense. Great! This is gonna take longer than I thought. And he's using psychic now. No, don't make me lose this. Please don't. This is a very tough. Whoa! This is bad, guys. This is really bad. Let's see if I got any healing items here. I got any. Ooh, I got Max Revive. I'm gonna use it on TN. I'm gonna need TN for this one. I, I just have that feeling. I think TN can help me in this one. But I don't know if Gohan's gonna survive another psychic. Yeah, I don't think so. You did well, Gohan. But I guess this was not your day. Oh man, another critical hit. Are you serious? Like, I'm not gonna send him out quite yet. We're gonna send out Bardock. All that glare isn't gold, Bardock. He's got a high physical attack, he's for a hyper beam. Oh my god! This guy's powerful! Look at that psychic! Can you- how did you- I don't need to miss it- oh no. No, no, please no, please no, please- Oh! Oh no. This is what I was worried- oh thank goodness, okay. I'm gonna try for a hydro pump. Let's just get- oh no. Don't make me lose this battle. I've not lost a battle at Kanto. Please don't let me lose this one. Yes! Got a hyper pump in there. But will it be enough? Will that be enough? It's a physical attack, so yes! Yes, it took nearly two Pokemon to take out one. This is not good, guys. <laughs> what else you got? Ooh, TN Girl 54. Great job. Okay. Rhydon, okay, this should be a good matchup. Rhydon, you know, the rock ground Pokemon from Gen 1, Evolution of Rhyhorn. I think we can do this. Let's go for a waterfall and we're faster. 
Will it be enough? He's at level 56. Two levels above me, but I think we can do this. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Alright, back on top. Here we go. That's better, Bardock. Can gain some more experience. What else we got? What else we got? Blue. Oh no, he's got his own Gyarados. Nope. We should count with our own Typhlosion. So we got. Ooh. He's got just an ordinary gear. 58! Oh man, this is tough. Maybe I should have trained a little bit, but I'm confident in my team. Let's go for a Thunder Punch. Four times effectiveness. Yeah, your ordinary blue Gyarados has no chance against my Typhlosion. Come on, you got this. You. Oh man, so close. Hey. Come on, Goku. You just need to hit one more Thunder Punch. Just one more Thunder Punch. You are faster. Oh man, wait. This could work. This could work, because I think I would get to attack twice. Usually when um, people heal, you can attack twice in a row for some reason. But can we do this? Come on, Goku. Come on, Goku. Come on, go- Ooh, critical hit. Got one of our own critical hits. All right, Goku getting some experience there. And Tien getting some more experience. What else we got? Two more Pokemon. RK9. Oh, this one's gonna be a little tough. But I'm gonna send out Tien back in the fray. RK9, the fire type Pokemon. I've lost a brow with a fire stone. Once again, like I so said, this is his championship team. It's kind of a little dumbed down a bit. But oh. That's gonna hurt. Extreme speed always hits first. One of the fastest moves in the game is introduced in this generation. It acts like quick attack. Whoever is faster, that move will go first. So if you have two Pokemon with extreme speed, the faster Pokemon will go first. So let's see if the Surf... Ooh! Not bad! And we got strengthened with that on Rain Dash. That's really helping us here. He's just relying on that extreme speed, but look at TNB and just a wall to that. And thanks to that Rain Dash, we were able to take out an Arcanine. Nice job, Tian, redeeming yourself there. This is one of his strongest Pokemon back in his championship days. Ugh, it was a problem, but we got him. And Tian gained some more experience. Look at Tian. And one last Pokemon. It is Executor. The evolution of Executor, Leaf Stone, Grass, Psychic. We're going to send up Goku here to finish it off. Or, I may have a different idea for this. Because of, oh, 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 yeah, this is probably a good idea. Let's see, do I have a revive? Please say I have a revive. Oh, no. Don't say I don't have a revive. I need a, oh, God. This, I, oh, no. I need to go on with, what? Okay, Goku. Can your frame wheel do enough damage, even with the trainer, because it's going to cut down my attack? I wish I had to revive so I could revive Gohan, because I did not expect him to be knocked out so easily. But is it going to be enough? Can it- Ooh, a critical- Nice! Even with the rain, look at that! Uh-oh. This could be bad. That's Egg Bomb. That could hurt a bit. That- Oh, the rain stopped. Thank you. Final- Oh my god. Stop it. Full restores. At least it didn't revive Pokemon, but I'm back at full strength. Stab fire, let's see if we can do this in one hit. Come on, Goku. The last battle. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, so close. But because he stupidly healed, I can attack twice, so this match is in the bag. And we have defeated the last Kanto Gym Leader. Look at Goku. And Tian, my two-star players, and Leader Blue is defeated. What? How the heck did I lose to you? Alright, here, take this. It's Earth Badge. Will you say the something for once, please? It's weird you say it like that. But we defeated Blue, we got the last Gym Badge, the Earth Badge. All 16 badges are ours. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer. I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Oh no, we won't forget it, because you just defeat one of my own Pokemon. What do you got to say? Man, you're truly tough. That was a heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. Yes, it brought tears to my eyes too, actually. But yes, we have defeated the last gym leader. I've already battled him. Yeah, we needed that luck. He was tough, but we were able to... What the? Oh, repel. <laughs> we were able to... Take him out in the end. 
got our last gym badge. Gonna heal up a bit before we go back to. Actually, we're gonna go to Pallet Town because um, Professor Oak would want to see us after we defeat all the gym leaders, and we just defeated the last one. So let's see what he's got to say. Maybe he has something to give us, you know, something, something we can do, you know. I don't know. What's your reward for defeating all the Kendo gym leaders? He was definitely the toughest by far. I, I knew I was gonna have trouble with him. But, you know, just one, basically one casualties. Not too bad. So that's going back here. I like the music here. Got a bitter berry. Feels confusion, I believe. And I love this music. It's really just like, just lighthearted and that stuff. Just walking down, hopping over ledges. Used to warn you about, like, oh, don't jump over these ledges. Are you serious? What do we got here? What do we have a poke? What do we have? Oh, century. Oh, they even have Sentrich here. It's, it's like analogous to New Bar Town. Well, there's your evolution there, Sentrich. That's what you're gonna become. A fur right. Whoa, look at this blue. Some more daytime, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go to Professor Oak. Professor Oak, you have done it. You have conquered Kanto. Wow, that's excellent. You collected the, the badges of gyms in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, gold, I'll make it rain so you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, gold. If you go up to Indigo Plateau, you can reach Mount Silver from there. And we can hit about it in our Pokedex, which is kind of is horrible. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We can use Pokeballs, I know that. Okay, so. What the, Anthony! What do you want? No, I'm not battling you. You're weak. I defeat all the Kanto gym battles. You're not a challenge. But yes, we can go to Mount Silver. They're probably asking, Mount S What is Mount- Where is that? Okay, first we're gonna fly to Indigo Plateau. And then, we're gonna actually not go inside here. We're gonna go... Um... Oh! You know what? What if I go down here? Oh, jeez. Oh, um, ah, oh, ah, darn it. I know what we need to do. I thought I could just go there and that stuff. But, unfortunately, in order to get to where I want to go, we need to make that trek all the way back to, like, oh, oh yeah, of course, here. Oh my god, an idiot. Meridian City. Okay, we have to go left, so... Let's go, let's do that. I almost forgot this is the alternate way to get to where I need to go. Instead of going all the way back to, to darn. Are you kidding me? Stop with the wild battles. I won't cut any of these up, because we're just right there. So, oh, little dodo. Do duo. Well, oh, four. Okay, let's go. I actually will just surf down here. Just to avoid any of those wild Pokemon, because I doubt I'm going to run down here. Okay, so here, this is the way we can go. This is another entrance to Elite Four, and as you can see, huh, the person's gone. There, there used to be someone here, but they're gone. Interesting. So now we can just walk through here, and this actually takes us in the road. This is around Route 28. So, if I look at the map, my little map here, we're actually right there. We're like on the cusp of, like, Kanto and Jodo. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put a, let's see if I repel stills. Repels stills. Yeah, that makes sense. Super repel. Okay. Let's go. So you still have that music, that marching music. And then we're just gonna walk around here. I don't think there are any trainers, so you're just wild Pokemon battles. Where am I? I have not done this part in a while. But we're actually coming really close to the end. There's a lot of grass here, I'm just gonna a lot of Pokemon battles. Walking around here, trying to figure our way. Oh, like a Pokemon Center. Let's go in here for a little bit. Hi. Trainers who seek power climb Mount Silver despite its many dangers. With their trusted Pokemon, they must feel they can go anywhere. Mount Silver, yes. So we can go heal our Pokemon here. I'm just going to do that now, actually. Let us know doing a little healing. I just fought, like, the toughest gym battle of, of this game thus far, so... I'll make sure all Pokemon are in tip-top shape. Yeah, so we're all healed there. And now, going up here, this is the entrance. 
to mount, so let's just check it out. Let's look in here a little bit if it's not dark. Oh, it's dark in there. Oh, that's gonna be scary. But guys, this is it. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Gold, we will embark into Mount Silver, the most treacherous cave in all of Johto and Kanto. Can we climb it? Can we make it? What's at the top? What will be waiting for us at the end? You'll find out the answers to these and more in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. So if you like this part, subscribe to this, comment, subscribe, and like. If you don't like this for some reason, tell me what you liked and didn't like, and check out my other parts if you like this one. So this is me, the Nintendo Swimming, signing off, and I will see you guys.